In the name of Almighty Allah, the entirely merciful and especially merciful. Dear viewers across the globe, I greet you with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and peace be unto all of you. In this episode, as a continuation of the previous episodes, I'm going to handle the main theme which is understanding Islam. Every time I take a verse from the Quran, an ayah, and evidence from the Quran to build up our understanding and to build up our belief in this religion. And I elaborate on this ayah so that the meaning would become very clear and we put this ayah beside another ayah, beside another verse, beside another ayah, beside another verse until the big picture appears to every one of us so that we would be able to, after understanding these verses, after understanding Islam, we can convey the message in a very clear way to the people who need uh, Islam, need to know about Islam. Today I'm going to give you one verse, one ayah or two ayat maximum, and this is in Surah Al-An'am. Surah Al-An'am, and this is ayah number 162, 163. And the ayah reads as follows. قُلْ Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding Muhammad to say. So in other words, this is not the saying of Muhammad sallallahu This is the command of Allah to say this verse to people. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Quick translation of the meaning of this ayah is Say, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say to people Indeed, my prayer and my rituals and my daily tasks and all my life since I was born until death. Even my death are devoted for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Lord of the worlds. La sharika lahu. There is no partner with him. There are no associates with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only Lord the only God. La sharika lahu. Wa bidhalika umirt. I was commanded to do this. I was commanded to say this and this and this and what we have just heard right now. And I am the first Muslim. Wa ana awwal muslimin. That means that I am the, on the top of the people who surrender themselves to Allah, to Islam. Let me elaborate on this. For example now, what is your prayer for? Ask yourself. When you pray, you direct your prayer, you direct your supplication, you direct your request. To whom? Do you direct it to Allah? Do you direct it to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Do you direct it to your father? Do you direct it to your sheikh? Do you direct it to Jesus? Do you direct it? If you direct your prayer, address in your prayer, someone, so he is your Lord. You have to understand this. If you direct your worship to Muhammad, this means that you are worshiping Muhammad. That's why Muslims do not address and direct their prayer to Muhammad They direct it to the Lord of Muhammad, to the creator of Muhammad, to the creator of Jesus, to the Lord of Jesus, to the Lord of Musa, to the Lord of all alameen. So if you, Muhammad is telling people that, I direct my prayer. I make my supplication, I request things from Almighty Allah. 
because he is al qadir the most capable if you know that this boss is much higher and have more authority and have more power than this one so you are going to go to this one. and we know that he is al qadir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable of doing anything and no one else can do this. So why would you go to a lower one and ask him, why don't you go to the strongest one whose name is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling people now here that قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي My whole prayer is addressed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to nobody else. And not only the prayer, all the rituals I do when a slaughter an animal as a sacrifice for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I do this for the sake of Allah. So all my rituals, when I make tawaf around the Kaaba, I do this, right? And I do the rituals of the five prayers that we do every day. And when I pay the money as zakah, and when I do all these ibadat, I do them, Huh? for the sake of Allah so when I do this I don't do it for Allah and someone else no only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then and all my life everything I do in my life I avoid having the intention of doing it for the sake of somebody else I do this project because I want Allah or I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this. I avoid this haram because that I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to avoid this. So I do this for the sake of Allah. I marry because Allah wants me to marry. I help others because Allah loves to see me helping others. So all my life and all the tasks and all the actions and all the projects and all the jobs that I take in my life and that I do in my life is for the sake of Allah. Not only that, my death itself should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why the other verse says that وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Make your last utterance before you die. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. I do all these for the sake of Allah, the Lord of the worlds. The one who has no partner, no one else. That's why we do them solely and entirely for his sake, not for his sake and somebody else. You don't say that I do this to please Allah and to please my mother and my father. No. Everything that I mentioned here of those four, inna salati wa nuzuki wa mahyai mamati, should be done solely and only for the sake of Almighty Allah. And I was commanded to do this. This is not my opinion. That's what Muhammad sallallahu says. Remember? This is not my opinion. Remember, the authentic hadith that I mentioned is not my sayings. It's the command from Allah to me. It's the revelation of Allah to me. So it's not my opinion. So Muhammad sallallahu does not have an opinion in this religion. Everything is given to him by Almighty Allah. That's why when we do as what Muhammad sallallahu did, we do this because he was commanded by Allah to say this and to do this and to act upon this and to approve this. And that's why everything at the end of the day goes to the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I am the first Muslim. I am the first one. I love to be labeled as a servant and a slave of Allah. That means surrendering myself to the will of Allah and to whatever he needs. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave us this opportunity to share it with others, hoping that we can be one of those who can guide others to this great religion 
and save themselves from the fire of hell. Ameen, ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Mamdouh Nuruddin Muhammad and special thanks to Al Huda TV. Oh, my, 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 my.